Morning, well, I'm Torridon. This is day three. Just leaving Glen Torridon. It's dark because it's early morning. And today I'm going to climb a mountain called Sal or Sail Moor. Some pronounce it different. I'm going to get up onto that ridge up there. I know it's quite dark still, but you probably could see it. And then follow it all along. And then after drop down, I'll be like, and then back up. Uh, up onto Sal Moor Summit. And then I'm going to cut to the right and drop down into a quarry where the three buttresses are, so that'll be a treat. And then I'm going to come anti-clockwise around the back of Salmoor and the buttresses and then come back on this path here. So it's starting to come light now. It's about 8 degrees, early November. So I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a big day again. The views are supposed to be really good as well off um, top of Salmoor as long as it's not cloudy. Okay, oh, we can come along. That score I do it, did uh, a couple of days ago on a video. Not plugging it. Onto the flat now. Uh, see that path there? Well, into path, it's a deer run. That's where I'm going to go up. So it's right up onto the top of that ridge. It's going to be a bit of ski, ski, um, scree running up there. So I've got to navigate a burn first, quite a wide one, so see, that might be harder to do than getting up there. <laughs> so as I made my way down to the burn, I knew I had a steep climb ahead. Doesn't seem too bad. Pretty good path up there. There's no path on the map, but it definitely looks like a path. Yeah, it's sort of a path. Comes and goes. Very tough going. Good views over to Leek again, eastern side. That looks a dangerous way up. And that path that I was on goes all the way up there and does a full circular anti-clockwise or clockwise. So it's raining now. It was still raining as I looked down the glen, but I decided to push on knowing it was going to be sunshine and showers all day. I'm having to crawl up here. And after slipping and sliding, crawling, you name it, I finally made it on top of the ridge. Right, finally up. Oh. It's just completely pea soup now. So, gonna crack on this way. It's, uh, it's getting quite cold now, so keep moving. Nice to get out of that wind. If you're doing rear stack more, which is over there, you won't see it. This is the path you take, split. Uh, over here is Sailmore Summit, and we've got a bit of snow here for snow sin. Okay, crack on. And as I made my way along the plateau, lucky for me, the clouds started to lift. So I've made it to a shelter point now. There's a bit of a drop down before I go back up to sail more yet, but the views are opening up. Alligan over there and Ben Jerag. So you can't sail more, it's just starting to show up there. And the buttresses are at the back. So 
what a view down to um, Loch Torridon. Okay, I'm going to grab some lunch now. And for a brief spell while I was having lunch, the clouds lifted. It was now time to pack up my gear, ready for Salvor. Here's the sting in the tail for Salmoor, Salmoor. So, Loch Torridon, Ali, Ben Allegan, Ben Gerag, Salmoor I've just said. And over there that lock is Flowerdale. So I've, I've done a wild camp over there. Beautiful place. Sun's coming out over there. And clouds coming in over here. As I started to make my way down the Belak, I come to a really tricky section of slippery rock. Yeah, probably not the wisest choice coming down there in this weather. My word, that was slipper. Oh well, I'm down now. Uh, right, along there now. How impressive are them buttresses? Look at them. So I'm still getting climbing down yet. Fog up there. Okay, finally off the buttresses. Very slippy that. So, one last push now up to Salmore, Salmore. Up there we go. So, yeah, at least it's not raining now. What a view. Starting to rain again. So after scrambling over rocks and boulders and getting battered by the wind, Salvor Summit was in sight. So now on the summit the wind's really picked up, maybe 60 to 70 miles an hour. So I had a good pan round and look at the views and decided to get out of there. Okay, time to leave, I can't stand up hardly. And now getting down the bee like really exposed to the elements. So here's my return path, a different way back now, past that little lock and got to get out at wind over there, the three buttresses. 
Now looking down at the locker, I made a wise decision to go to the left hand side of it. Big mistake that, coming that way. That has been so slippy. Whew. And as the light started to fade, I took one last look at the triple buttresses. Hey, it's going dark now. It's been a long day. This is my return path now. I've just come from that way. So that's the path that'll take you back into the glen that we saw off the summit this morning. Nearly back. That's where I went up this morning. It's going dark so I've set off in the dark this morning and I'm going back in the dark so I hope you enjoyed it it's been a big walk again that special up there okay I'll catch you on the next one hopefully I'm gonna get back down to Glen Torrid and okay bye for now thanks for watching hopefully see you on the next one